So, without further ado, because I've been saying that a lot lately, let's open the December Southern Region Monster Bass Box. Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the vlog. If you're new to the channel, I'm Steve Chapman, and yes, it's here. Bah! The Monster Bass Box for December. I've been told I'm getting a little bit too overly critical on these boxes. So today I'm gonna try to be, just try to be honest, that's all I try to do. I know it doesn't agree with everybody's way of doing things but I'm just gonna keep it real that's all I mean I'm gonna give you my opinion and that's it now you gotta remember my opinion might be a little bit slated because uh because I maybe I'm a little bit better angler than the beginning angler because I've been told that these boxes are meant for beginning anglers and that really isn't the truth these are boxes put together as pretty much gifts and I pay for this every month. I don't get this for free. I have no uh, skin in the game for Monster Bass. I appreciate what they do. Um, I think that they've had some great boxes in the past. Some great boxes. Have I been disappointed with some of the recent ones? Yes. I mean, we're um, when they first came out, it was all about the top quality name brand things. And I think because of COVID this last year, or last few months, it hasn't had that, hasn't been there, the criteria that they've set forth. And, and that's just, that's the way times are right now, unfortunately. So, if you don't know, like I said, Monster Bass is a subscription box. It comes every month. It's about $34, $35. Um, usually you get it in the middle of the month. Um, you can have it sent at the end of the month or whatever, but I have mine sent at the beginning of the month so I can get it as soon as possible. It was dropped off on my front porch today while I was doing the interview with Matt Robertson. You just didn't hear it in the background luckily but they were there dropping it off so all I've done is cut it open I have not looked at it at all I cut it open did some work and now I'm here in front of the camera so without further ado because I've been saying that a lot lately let's open the December southern region monster bass box okay Looks like some decent stuff to start off with. They are starting us off with a Bass Hick Hellboy. Great color on it, to be honest. That's a badass looking color. Badass looking lure too, honestly. Hellboy, I wonder if that's the same thing as the movie that, used to, that came out years ago. This is a half ounce, 100 millimeters, zero to two foot diving bait. I don't mind this. Even though I don't know the name, I don't mind this. Next. Some Super K Jigs. Don't know the name, but look like decent little ones. I don't know if I'll use these, but you never know. I'm trying not to throw anything on the ground today, by the way. Next, from Vicious Fishing, the Herky Jerky half ounce. Looks like a suspending twitch bait. Let me put it this way. I don't know how much it dives. Doesn't say anywhere on there how much it dives. But it's got the sexy, sexy color. Not a bad looking color from Vicious Fishing. Next from Rabbit Baits. It is their Finesse Action. I don't even know what they're called. These look like, oh, you wanna know what? These look like Ned. And you wanna know what? Probably, they pair up probably pretty darn nice with these. That's one of the first times I've seen them put something in together that pairs up. That's a good idea. I know another company that does that. From Lunker Hunt, the Jolt 8F. This is a floating 3 8 ounce, 2 and 2 quarter inches, and it dives 
eight foot. Maybe a little bit too much of a diver for Florida. Uh, I'll have to say I'm not going to use that one. Nice color though. From Saber Toad. It's oh, this is from Catch Outdoors. This is the Saber Toad. You cannot read that stuff on the back. That is just that is like three point text. It is impossible to read. I hate that. I hate that when the warning, the the sixty five warning is bigger than the about the frog. That's the, the you, Saber Frog. You, Make some better. Upgrade the, the font size, please. Not a bad looking frog, and it's black. I'm going to use this. That, that's the God's honest truth. I'm going to use this. Next, they sent a pack of... Oh, the BFE. Best flipper ever. If you don't know, I just did a closer look on this, this, uh, this product. These are out. You can buy these at Tackle Warehouse and some other places. Great bait, actually. Good color. This is the green pumpkin uh, color. That's a good one. And then last but not least, they sent the Excite Baits High Floater. Just some Cinco Worms. Those will get used, too. Looks like they're made out of Texas. So that's cool. So what we got was we got two plastic baits. Oh, also they sent a sticker. And a little book about the all the products that are in here I don't know who Rob Shannon is but good luck Rob oh and it says next month sneak peek is the Strike King bio bait that's kind of cool this tells you what's in the box and how much everything costs the catch outdoors was $7.50 the long ground was $5.50 the vicious fishing was $8 the bass hick was $9 rabbit baits was $6 big bite baits was $4 excite baits was $5 and the Super K was four. So if you're looking at it overall, you got 15, 19, 28, mm, 28, and 28 and 23, $51 worth of value. Not bad for $34. That's not bad. That's about, I think that's about average. But they gave you, now I gotta get out of the screen. They gave you two, those two plastics. They gave you the, they gave you a couple divers. As I, I, they give you the rabbit baits and those jigs, and they give you four, and they give us four hard baits. I'll say that of the hard baits, there's only one I don't think I'll use, and that will be this one. But the other ones I will probably use and and see how they do. Overall, not a bad box. Name brand wise, if I have to give it a one to ten on name brand, I'd probably give it a six or a seven in terms of overall value of the box probably a seven or eight just to keep it real overall quality of the products and stuff that i'll use i bet you it's probably a a nine eight and a half nine it's a good box it's a real good box um it isn't a lot of name brand stuff but i guess i need to be very clear on it that during these times that uh, COVID that it's harder for them to get name brand stuff. Some of these guys I don't know. I do know Lunker Hunt. I do know Vicious Fishing. Uh, the Rabbit Baits and the Bass Hick. I don't have a clue about the Catch the catch Outdoors. I don't know yet. But it's a good looking frog. Uh, and I'll use it. So um, not a bad overall box. Not a bad overall box. A lot of stuff I can use. And that's that's really what it comes down to. Now, if you were to get this box as a gift, would you appreciate it? Comment below. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you would give this rating of this box. Is my rating system just completely off because I'm jaded? I want to know. I don't mind you critiquing me. I don't mind it. As long as you don't mind me coming back and saying this is my opinion. Remember, these are opinions. If you want one of these boxes, go to monsterbass.com and uh, get yourself hooked up. It's like 34 bucks. There you go. Guys, thank you. Hope you are happy, healthy, and able to go fishing. Remember, take a kid fishing. Get your fish on. We will see you soon. Cheers. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching. If you want to subscribe, click up here. If you want to see our last video, it should be right here. Take a kid fishing. 
get your fish on. Cheers.